Couple of free throws, the difference midway through the first quarter. St. Joe's up on LaSalle, Big Five women's basketball. Take a look at some football, though. It's conference championship weekend, and tomorrow night at 6 Eastern, our roster of experts break down the conference championships exclusively from a quarterback's perspective. Don't miss NFL Monday QB delivered by FedEx right here on CBS Sports Network. Let's talk about throwing it deep or shooting it from deep if you're LaSalle. Well, and I think LaSalle's done great thus far. This is a team that shoots 22% for three-point land. I've already lit it up for 33% thus far in the game. Their defense equals the offense. They just haven't been able to finish. Steal the rock and protect the rock. Two keys for St. Joe's. They protected it. They just got to be able to finish with it. Shayla Sweeney got herself to the free throw line just before the timeout. LaSalle has played at lightning speed. 12 seconds of possession. That would rank you among one of the faster paced teams in the country over the course of the year. Three turnovers key on those possessions though and you've got to be able to slow it down. Another three. That's two for Shayla Sweeney who came in shooting 15% from three. It's a seven nothing run for that young lady alone. And LaSalle with its first lead, it's 9-7. Monahan, in the meantime, has been totally taken away by LaSalle. 20 points a game over the last three, and she has yet to take a shot lurking at the top of your screen. Well, and the ball is on the opposite side of the court of her, too, and, and Sanders recognizes that, too, and I like what Sanders is doing here as we go down to the offensive side. Miller is setting the nice screen there, and that sets up Sweeney to be able to take that shot a little bit more square to the hoop, get a good look at the basket. It's turnover number two for St. Joe's. Talked about steal the rock, protect the rock. They're going up against a team that forces 19 turnovers. And just like that, Janae Sanders has given it right back. That is the fourth for LaSalle. She stepped on the sideline. Janae running out of real estate there over on that sideline as Coach Mountain looks on. All right, how do you get the ball? Look at the denial. How do you get it back to Monahan? Well, you, Monahan's got to come back to the ball and works through some screens to be able to get it. You know, she can shoot that shot from that deep when she receives it. But being timid right now, just kind of hanging out over there in the corner. Sanders a little out of control through the lane and another turnover for her. Back to back, that's the fifth for LaSalle, although she's playing a new role. Deja King was the point guard. She gets injured. Sanders takes over and she's really naturally a three, a wing player. So playing out of position, trying to learn, said, she was sitting in the airport on the way to the Dayton game and said to her coaches, who do I watch film of? Sue Bird, Sue Damian Bird. Lillard. Yeah, and, and I like that thought process. That's what you got to do. Take the ignition, initiative on your own time off. And, and I think that that is when you struggle a little bit, go to some tape. It's another turnover, though. Roy will get fouled. Tried to get up quickly with it. Sanders has good bloodlines, too. Godfathers, Del Curry, Muggsy Bogues, her god brother, Steph Curry. Giving the basketball right there, and, and back and forth we go, and I love the hands. Getting the hands in the passing lanes, trying to make something happen on the opposite side of the ball, and just being quick, being quick to get those hands in. I think that's one of the toughest things that young blue chippers from high school have, have the difficulty coming in and playing at this level level of ball. Everybody's a blue chipper at this level. You've got to figure out how to get stronger, how to fake your passes a little bit more to be able to thread things inside. Both good for Lula Roy. Mentioned Steph Curry though, and her response when we asked her about Steph was interesting because she talked about development. How do you get better? She saw Steph when he was really young and learning and growing. Her father was his seven-year-old AAU coach. Which which is ridiculous. We, you know, she was funny when she was talking about it. She said, yeah, I guess he was like six or seven in AAU ball. And uh, to be able to watch Steph at that point, and of course, everybody's saying, you know, nobody from Davidson's going to be able to come out and do what you've done in the NBA and, and defy the odds. What a, what a great role model for her growing up and trying to, trying to emulate you know, what was going on. Here's the foul on Delanois right underneath. Uh, and I like the heart, you know, put that shoulder down by Brown, go to the hoop. Brown's played solid in both ends of the court right now for LaSalle. She's been able to get in the passing lanes, tip some balls away, and create the effort there on the offense. Good screens open up good threes. Kayla Spruill 
That's now three of four from deep for LaSalle, and you mentioned it, they came in 22%. What's the answer for St. Joe's? Good pass, Delanois, and Royce just can't hit the shot. Won't fault the offense there. And again, LaSalle at a wicked pace, hunting a oh, shot early. Oh, and they just missed Sweeney the cutter there. Miller strong, rebound down to Whisper Fisher. Does Monahan start to have to look for her own shot here and no, just be well, aggressive? I, I think so too, but you don't want to force the situation like that unless you know how to get it high off the glass. She recognized Miller was there, the shot blocking potential, and she kind of made that ethos throw off the glass high. Nice job. Well, what did she tell us yesterday? I'm 5'5". Five five. I've got to finish through contact. I'm not going to get the whistle. There is a whistle, though, given to Shayla Sweeney. A little contact there as well at the opposite side. It Here's Monaghan working. Oh, oh, look, now she sees the double team come over. She goes, uh-oh, I know what I need to do. I need to get that nice and high off the glass, welcoming the contact. I like what both teams did yesterday at their lengthy practices here. LaSalle took that van ride over to practice. Both teams stood on the court. And in, instead of reading, you get your scouts, and you get your booklet, and you understand. But the team spoke out loud about the person they were going to play against in the scout. So the coaches knew they knew the scout. Love that idea. Everybody hears it. Everybody understands you've done your homework. And you can't be wrong. No. Not in that setting. Well, you get called out. That'll stay with LaSalle. The foul just before was on Katie Jaycott. And credit her for trying to make the tough play, step in and take the charge. You've got to be able to match LaSalle's aggressiveness here because they don't score the basketball very well, statistically, they have today, but they play hard to make up for it. And that baseline is a step out of bounds and turnover number seven. And you saw the shot selection there, shooting exceptional from three-point land. St. Joe's gonna stay in that zone, kind of challenge LaSalle. LaSalle says, okay, we're not, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna work inside in case we don't need it. We're gonna be challenged and they have been able to work the three Oh, goodness. That's backcourt. Turnover number four for St. Joe's. Impressions of the zone down here for St. Joe's. Cindy Griffin says, hey, we always have designs to play it. Yeah. If teams make shots, we'll pull out of it. Well, yeah, and they've been forced out of it right now. And, and I think that has, you know, that gets into your head a little bit too. Well, our game plan, we've kind of changed away from it as they look to pack in the paint now. Good tip ball. Delanois got a hand in the passing lane there. Coach Mountain being uh, warned has got to stay in that box. Nichols realizes she has the size advantage, just backing down Monahan, and then Spool again! That's her second! 24% on the season, 12 points from three from Spruill and Sweeney, 24 and 14% from beyond the arc. Well, now I understand why they call her the big smooth. She has played a number of positions for this team this year, and she is looking smooth this afternoon. And, and, you know, and she's really played very well in A-10 play where she is averaging 10 points per game and four boards. Two seconds to shoot, and Monahan doesn't get a look. And she traveled. And this the senior like, right now is just looking for something, an answer. This looks like a whole different LaSalle team from practice yesterday. They weren't communicating. Coach kept saying, you guys got to talk. You guys got to communicate. They have lost their voices. They're playing all over the court right now. They really have St. Joe's out of sorts. And they're, they're kind of commanding what's going on, dictating the flow. It's funny how that happens. You don't see it in practice. The lights come on. Hello. Hello. Miller commanding the ball, begging for it, and just can't finish from the block. She will go to the line. But when you're an elder on a young team, she's a junior, take charge. You see the physical tools coming in here. She's recognized she's beaten Whisper, got, has gotten that inside lane, and goes to the back and takes that strong first step to the basket to create this opportunity. Nice job. It's the second foul on Whisper Fisher, so the senior goes to the bench. 
She's replaced by the freshman in Katie Mayock. And Mayock has the rebound off the missed free throw. For St. Joe's, make sure you go into the quarter break down five at most. Don't turn this over. And we've got a foul underneath. Brown was trying to be a little bit too aggressive, cutting through on that play defensively. And it's the team's fifth, so it sends Lula Royge to the free throw line. Chance to score with the clock stopped. Royge has the one who's picked, has been the one who's picked up the offensive mantle here. Yeah. Play the point, play the two, move to the two because they needed some scoring. Coach Griffin says, you know, she's no question our most improved player in one season. Nothing though, all the trip and LaSalle will have three seconds and change to try a look here at the end of the first. They'll bring Sanders back on to run the point. They get her going toward the bucket with a second, does not get off the shot. End of the first quarter, LaSalle in front, 16-11. Trying to pick up their first win at Hagen Arena since 1998. Quarter of the way down, looking good.